So what we're sharing together is a, a discussion about two realities, really. Uh, one reality is within the other reality. But the, rea the main reality is, is that which is um, a mystery. It can't be understood. It's boundless. It's the boundlessness of nothing and everything. And it can't be known. And it is everything that is and everything that is not. And it has no limit, and there's nothing that influences it. It even makes funny noises. <laughs> there's nothing that influences it, is it, um, and it, because it's completely free. There isn't a God or consciousness, all those ideas that the seeker has about a power of consciousness or the power of God to influence itself on the world. There's just energy, it's utterly free, boundless, and completely, wonderfully meaningless. It has no meaning or purpose of any kind. It simply is this. Whatever you're looking at, whatever you feel, whatever seems to be happening in this room, is boundless energy. It is the boundless nothing and everything. It's nothing, it's absolutely nothing. And it appears to be everything as well, at the same time, simultaneously. So it's the relative absolute. It's not the relative, it's not the absolute becoming the relative. It is the relative the absolute, the absolute relative. Formless form. It's wild, mad, and completely incomprehensible. It's this. It's this. And although I'm talking in great terms about it, it's also raising an eyebrow or stepping a step it's all of those things within that energy arises a separate energy strangely enough at the moment only for human beings so when the child is born after the first year or so uh, and the energy that is boundless also becomes contracted because it's free it can be limited, it can be boundless and, li and limited. And suddenly, a sense of a limited, contracted energy enters the body of the child, apparently. And, and the response is, is a feeling of identity suddenly. Before that, there's just no identity, there's just life happening. But suddenly there's a feeling, I am. I am. I am real. This is supported by self-awareness. Suddenly self-awareness, self-consciousness happens in the body. I am this, I am this person. And as the child grows, it feels like it meets apparently lots of other individuals. And so it becomes more and more sure, but the, the reality it experiences for itself is real. This is normal. This is normal. I am real. My story is real. I was born, will live and die. And that story has meaning and purpose. And I have the free will and choice to influence that story. So that's how most people live, grow up and accept life, accept the reality that they experience. <coughs> but of course, they only, um, they only know that reality through their own experience. The only thing they can know for themselves is their experience of themselves and the world that seems to be happening to them as a separate energy. So everything out there uh, seems to be separate to the, to the self. Because the self is in here, and when it meets somebody else, they are separate. They're over there, you're someone else, I'm here. I'm someone, you're someone. The tree is something, I am something. There's a relationship. That, that sort of experience is, no, is considered normal, but it's actually unsatisfactory. There's something about it that doesn't ever really fulfill. Because the, the me is, is, is running around in a circle of different experiences. This is happening, and that's happening, and that's happening, and this is happening. And these things come and go. And they don't satisfy. They satisfy for a little while. And then that satisfaction falls away. 
So there's a feeling of disquiet. There's a feeling of loss. Something's lost in this experience of me. Most people put up with that and live with it, try to live with it. And they try to please themselves by gathering in what they can from what they experience of the world to make them feel good. So the individual seeker or the individual that's separate is always looking for a better experience of me. I want a better experience. For some people they look deep, more deeply to find out why they're not fulfilled and to try and find something, something that will satisfy them. Because of course the me lives in a world of somethings. Everything's something. The tree is something. He's something. My feeling of being angry is something that's happening to me. It's something else. So when the seeker decides to look for some sort of fulfilment, it turns that goal into another something. So the idea of enlightenment or fulfilment is another something that I can have if I use the right method, or if I go to a teacher and a teacher tells me how to have what I want. Um, so what we're sharing together here is the possibility that all that I've just described is um, somehow real for the seeker, but an illusion in the whole reality. It's just another appearance. It has no reality of any kind. And the great illusion uh, that the me lives in is that it is real, I am real. The world is real, my story is real, and fulfillment is real, and I can have those things, I can. So what we're exposing here is the possibility that all of that is illusory. And the whole effort to be fulfilled is completely and utterly and wonderfully futile. Because the, 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 the me only lives in dualism. It lives in a, in, a, in a world that is going around in a circle looking for different experiences. So it, all it can do is to try to learn to find an experience that's constant. Of course it can't because that, those experiences are always moving in and out, coming and going. And in some way or other, that wind renders the whole idea of trying to find non, let's call it non-duality out of dualism is utterly futile. Mind you, most people, even seekers, uh, get hold of the idea of non-duality and call it another something. So they, they look upon non-duality like they look upon Christianity or Buddhism or whatever as another something. Whereas actually the non, word non-duality is simply a term it's a term pointing to the mysterious. And writer, non-duality, is a word pointing to that which can't be comprehended. Formless form. The empty fullness. It can't be known. It's not a thing that can be known. So what can happen is we can talk about the beliefs that arise in being an individual about the world and myself, the nature of the world, and the nature of reality. And it's possible that some of the fixed ideas that arise for the individual could unravel a bit in talking about it. Another, this is another perspective. It's a totally uh, radical view of this reality. And it, it's both liberating and confronting. The other thing that, that uh, seems to happen when people are gathered together to be open, possibly open, to that which is unknowable, is that there's something energetic that seems to happen to that which thinks it knows. Because <coughs> the great thing about being an individual is to know everything. I want to know my girlfriend, what she does, and I want to know what it is to make money. I also want to know what enlightenment is so that I can have it and know it. But this is an opening to the unknown, unknowing. And in some way that, that sort of anxious, uh, motivated need to know,
can soften into unknowing. Did you want to? Hello. When I listen to this message of yours, it's just so utterly hopeless. It's oh, utterly. overwhelming. Totally, utterly hopeless. There it isn't sucks. A chink, it's not a chink of hope. <clears throat> there can't be because hope implies there's something else to, to get. There's some, something else out there to get or there's a possibility of moving from this feeling into something else that's better. That's not what this is about. This is about your death. It's about the death of me. A sudden collapse of an illusory energy that hopes. And of course what's interesting these days is that people hope they're going to die as well. But the other awful thing about this is actually there's no such thing as liberation or enlightenment or the happening of freedom. All we're talking about is the, the, the ongoing uh, seeking that seems to go on and exposing the futility of it. And it's possible that that whole futility will be illuminated. Well, the feeling is something like... Sorry? The feeling is something like completely failing something. Yeah. It's like... <clears throat> This is a complete, the me is a complete wonderful failure. <laughs> but it's not wrong, no. it's simply energy in that form. As I said before at the beginning, you could say there's two realities. One is the boundless and within that boundless arises the, contra the contracted energy. But it's not wrong, it's boundlessness appearing to be contracted. It's two-ness, it's oneness appearing to be two-ness. Thank you. Um, why are you telling this when there is no hope? Uh, I'm not telling it. There's no one here. Okay. This is just <laughs> coming out of nothing. Yeah. Nothing is describing itself. Nothing yeah. is describing the form it takes. Not for any reason, it's just describing it. So when somebody asks why this or what's, what about that, nothing describes the form it takes. This is about illumination. It's not about a teaching. It's not about coming to understand something which gives you the answer. There is no answer. It's already this. There doesn't need to be an answer because this is already all there is. is there You're a, living in what you long for. Is there a way? Sorry? Is no, there obviously a, not a way. Because if there is a way, there'd be a journey to something else. There isn't anything else. There's only this. What's already I... here, so why would you need to make a journey? You're sitting on it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but there is a difference between you and me. So That's what you feel, that's your experience. That's what's happening in there is the idea that there's a, a you and a me. Mm -hmm. Here there isn't a you and a me, there just is what is. There's no one here. Individuality doesn't arise. I can't see any individuality. It's a complete illusion. Although there are bodies apparently sitting there. But there's no this and that. There's no inner or outer. There just is what is and is not. So that means you don't have a goal to teach people something? No. To say no something? Teaching. There's no goal. There's no teaching. There's only illumination. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had that arranged, it was quite expensive. So that's it, no questions anymore. No, should we go home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
So someone who will like to mic? A lot of silence happens in these meetings and in residentials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's nothing. There's a bite. So the moment we seek, we already make the... The moment you seek, you're... you're, you're the seeking is the confirmation that something's been lost. Yes. And that's the illusion. What we, what we, what, what's coming up here is the possibility that nothing's ever been lost. Yes. Because this is it. But if I cross the road, would I then look... Well, yeah, that, the brain still functions. The brain survives, the body survives because the brain is functioning. That's got nothing to do with you, uh -huh. the me. The me is... Is, is something that the brain assimilates and, 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 and creates in itself a, a, the sense for me. The self is brain induced. Okay, so it's, it's a drive to. Oh, sorry, it's, it's a drive to survive. Well, there is a, a survival built in. The brain wants to survive, that's fair enough. And so it will protect the body. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. That, that goes on regardless of the me or not. So when, there's, when, there's, when the whole illusion of me is not there anymore, the body will still jump out of the way of a bus. Okay. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> That's not bad, isn't it? It just happens. <laughs> it's what happens. <laughs> okay. Eating happens, all those things. I mean, the whole... It's so amazing how arrogant the me is, because uh -huh. it believes the world can't continue without it. Yes. You know? yeah. Without my awareness, how could there be anything happening? Well, actually, everything is completely happening mm -hmm. without you or with you. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the me is just an added bit of useless software. But how would it be if you would not listen? Well, you just wouldn't hear. Okay. And so what? There's nothing right or wrong. There's no better or worse. Oh, okay. It just is what is. Not listening is what is. Listening is what is. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the moment I start thinking about something, I, I sort of create an obstacle yeah. for whatever I do. You think you do, yeah. Yes. Actually, me doesn't create anything. <laughs> all, all that happens is just energetic. Okay. Thank you. So there's, the, there's no... Mozart didn't write the 21st piano concerto. It got created. And then people think that there's somebody called Mozart who owns it. Ha! <laughs> it comes out of that physiology, but it's not any, there isn't anybody that writes it or creates anything. Thank you. Um, most of the things yeah, I'm, I'm hearing is completely clear, clear to me, uh, <laughs> in a way, uh, although it cannot be understood. No, no. <laughs> but um, s sometimes you, you're talking about things I really don't understand. No, I tell them I. <laughs> okay. I don't understand. There isn't anybody that understands this. <laughs> it's unknowable. Okay. But I have a, an example of sometimes you're telling there's no time or there's no cause and effect. No, wait a minute. I haven't said there's no time. Everything is in appearance. Yeah. So the time appears to be this. This is an appearance. Everything is in a, is nothing appearing as time, space, the table, the floor, the person. Well, so what's the difference between uh, appearing and not appearing? So, well, I have only the, the, the possibility to see something appearing to me. Yeah, but the problem is the huge difference is that the me sees everything as real. So the me doesn't see the chair, it sees a real, what it thinks and what it experiences as a real chair. Whereas actually the chair is nothing chairing. Okay. And time, you know, for the, for the me is real. I, I was born, I would live and die. So time is real. Whereas actually time, space are simply nothing, timing and spacing. Quantum physicists have already established this in the, in the last few years, uh, to much to their alarm, that if you take quantum physics theory now, where it's got to now, the only answer that's really likely, apart from the string theory, which is a bit old-fashioned, is that all there is, is nothing. Okay. Because <laughs> uh -huh. the atom is nothing. Mm. It's an illusion that the atom is real, it's just appears. So everything is in appearance. OK. 
Okay. Okay. And has no consequence. Whee! <laughs> Hi. Um, I seem to remember reading in one of your books that um, something along the lines that everything that seems to happen to appear in the individual's life is perfectly appropriate for that. So that last bit again, everything that happens is... Everything that appears to happen in an apparent individual's life is perfectly appropriate for that unique um, awakening. In a, in a sense, there is a sort of, you could say, in the apparent happening, there's a sort of program which is to do with the physiology of the person and, and the energy in which it's, in what is happening, seems to be happening. The energy of, of animals or things have, a, have, an, have an energy of their own and um, whatever happens comes out of that energy. But there isn't anybody that's running it. And by saying appropriate, I only mean it's appropriate in terms of the physics of it. It doesn't mean that what's happening has any uh, value of any kind at all. This is absolutely not about goodness or value or, yeah, I or think a path to somewhere that's better. That was going to be my question, if there is an in any kind of like intelligence or purpose to the happening or it's completely random. No, there, there, there can be an intelligence in what seems to be happening, but it's again uh, without agenda. It has no agenda to uh, be a better happening or or have any, there's no purpose to what's happening, it's simply an appearance. But in the physiology of the person or whatever, then what arises in the person, for instance, is uh, arising appropriately in that sense of energy, but not because it has any good or meaning of any kind. I'm not so, thinking in terms of good or meaning, more in terms oh. of um, the end of the dream for that individual, like the collapse of the illusion of self. Is there, a, is there anything like a natural intelligence unfolding towards that? No. Okay. Thank you. In, really, in response to this, everything is complete, so there's no need to move towards a more intelligent experience of that completion. Um, and that, that completion also includes the incompleteness of seeking. So seeking is the boundless energy in the form of seeking. And it is simply what it is. There's nothing that's better or nearer than anything else because everything is that. It's only really me that would fondly like to believe there's something out there trying to help. There isn't anything out there that's at all interested. In fact, there isn't anything out there. Should stop seeking? Oh no, no, this is absolutely not about should do anything. This, is, this message is certainly, if this message was saying to you stop seeking, I would suggest you leave right away because the idea of stopping seeking is the implica implication that you have a choice. There's no choice. But all that does seem to apparently happen is that the whole intention of seeking seems to lose its grip. And the whole idea that I have to be better or seek or whatever or meditate or whatever, the whole idea I have to get somewhere unravels. Not, a, not in every, every... A lot of people reinforce and, and, and stay even more connected to the idea of seeking coming here. They defend their position. What's frightening for the seeker about all this is the utter pointlessness of it. So it's, you say it's pointless, but, and it's no thing, but it's, it's not like a blank piece of paper. It's not... Not like a... A blank piece of paper, like... Not uh, like anything. Yeah. No. There's no process, obviously, because nothing's happening. There is nothing happening. This is nothing happening. There's only nothing. Yeah, and yet you speak about an intelligence. In, in what seems to appear, there, is, there can be an intelligence. But it, isn't, it doesn't have an agenda to get somewhere better. It just is. Yes, but if, for instance, if we study this plant over there, we can find out a lot about its structure and we can dissect it then. So what? And so on. Yeah, maybe not so what, but, but this intelligence. 
a different this intelligence uh, which made the plant and the chair and for so the, on. For, the, for no point at all. For no point at all. No. Not not even showing off. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a nice idea, but <laughs> no. me has lots of ideas about what this reality is doing, and all of them are completely fallacious, wonderfully fallacious. Because it's based, th th those ideas are based on the me's need to hope and move towards something. It, it's on the move. The me, directly, um, uh, separation happens like the uh, paradise is lost. There's a constant, constant movement towards finding it again. So this plant will never get any better? Sorry? This plant will never get any better? Why would it need to? No. There isn't a better. No. There's just a, an apparent change. So it won't get worse either? Well, there isn't a worse or better. There's only ch apparent change. Mm. A change, you know, worse or yeah. better is a matter of opinion, which is held in the uh, experience of the me. me has opinions about things because it's living in a story about finding something better. And, and change is also apparent too. What is? Change. Change. The change. Th oh, yeah. but change is apparently happens yeah, for no meaning, or no reason at all. So this is this, I mean, <laughs> it's a little difficult. This is perfect. Yes. And so and is this. This is also perfect. Okay. And this is also perfect. <laughs> but it's simply perfect timelessness. Mm. So that uh, if on one hand you say here there's nobody in the room, there's n nothing. No self. No self here. And on the other hand you say that the intelligence that um, can seem to appear has no agenda then how does it come that uh, what the human mind fabricates seems to go forward, like, let's oh, say, technology or something? The human mind is an instrument of me that the brain actually creates, which, which is on a path. The me, the me energy is apparently on the path. So, so the mind of the, of the me, the self, is always looking forward to what's next. It lives in what will be. It can never... It can never comprehend what is, so it lives in what will be. So it has a machine going inside, what's next, what's next? What's next? This is better than that, no, no, no. Do you ever come across somebody called um, uh, Harris, Sam Harris and um, that lot, Peterson? I think I read a book. Listen to that. That's it. That's perfect. It's perfect. Example of philosophy, gone mad. They're all... What about reason? What about rationality? What about religion? What about, what about this? And there was a wonderful moment when Peterson and Harris were talking. They did four talks. The last one was in Dublin. And they were going on... And then suddenly, about two-thirds of the way through, they were talking about explana the explanation of Buddhism, the explanation of religion, the explanation of reason, how it worked. And then suddenly... There was a wonderful moment when Harris must have suddenly blanked off because he said, what about living without explanation? It was a I, I sat there, wow! Out of all this babble, one moment, and then Peterson very quickly panicked <laughs> and, and went off on another tangent, but living without explanation. So, that's what the me is doing. It can't hear that. The me is constantly looking for an explanation. It looks for, it longs for an explanation. Look at all the religions. Look at, listen to those guys talking and all the others, Pinkner and all that lot. Okay. They're all talking about explanations about the reality and what there is to find in it. It's a... And underneath all that babble, there is... So ignorance is bliss. Sorry? Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> it's, 
It's about innocence. It's about something very simple and innocent. The wonder of this. The childlike, what we long for is the childlike wonder of this. But the trouble is we're there. And then we interpret what this is into some sort of answer or path leading to some. Thank you. Okay, and, and now you say beneath under this, this boom. Oh. That's very interesting because we are not going to sing Om here. Like no. Om. No. That would be another process leading to. Yes. I've done all that. Yes, okay. It looks like it's really that. So I think, oh, it's, it's, that, that would be somehow yeah. be beautiful to do. But still, that is an, a story. Oh. A story. Okay. This is beautiful. Isn't it? Is it nothing else? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then it's it's just this. It yeah. simply is this. Yeah. The utter joy of what is. Yes. <laughs> no hope for the own. No, and it, this can be anything, you know. Yeah. Picking your nose or. Yeah, of course. That is. Throwing cusses at your friend or something. So it's not holy. It's, not it's holy. got nothing to do with holy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so about this compulsive seeking of the me. Sorry? The compulsive seeking. Um, I resonate very much with that description. And even though this message has been heard a million times here. Which message? The, dis the message about the nothingness, like what this community... It's not, I never heard. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's never heard. Let's be clear about that. When the mere hears it, it turns it back into something it can do. Well, that's what I mean. That's mm. what I'm trying to say. There's like, it's ceaseless. It seems to hear it, and maybe the seeking stops for a little while, but then the me gets depressed and starts seeking all over again. So is there an erosion that happens over time? No. <laughs> <laughs> because like, the me cannot live with the utter hopelessness of it. Like, it wants to stop seeking, but it can't. Absolutely. And, the, and that, you said it in a nutshell. It wants to stop seeking, so it seeks, not seeking. Mm -hmm. It's hopeless. Because, don't forget, its whole um, energy is dualism. Its whole energy, it is... It isn't that the me becomes dualistic, it is that me is dualism. So it lives in a split world that can only, and the only way it can exist is by experiencing splitness. That's how the me maintains its existence, by experiencing splitness. So, in some way or other, that's all it can experience. So the idea that, or the sense that suddenly there's. It can't, it can't survive. It can't survive in wholeness. So this is about the sudden apparent end of the illusion of splitness. And there's nothing that can bring it about. And the, and, and the other awful thing about it is that it doesn't need bringing about and it doesn't ever happen. There isn't a sudden I'm split. It isn't like that. It is that there is only that but within that arises splitness. But it's only an appearance. It doesn't matter, it's completely and utterly unimportant. So, why even worry about the me if it's. I don't give a fuck about me. I, okay. I'm not in the slightest bit. There isn't, there isn't a me, it's an illusion. It's but an what Ill this is or nothing is doing is exposing that utter mm -hmm. illusion. Um, but there is no concern about it. It's only the if. The split me asks a question, there'll be a response out of nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saying, yeah. me, me is nothing saying I'm two. <laughs> and the response it gets is there's only one. But it doesn't matter whether there's no, there's, there's nothing trying to get that two needs to see that it's one because it actually is one mm -hmm. appearing to be two. Yeah, so we could just relax, huh? No, you, well, that's a trouble. Uh. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> people do say all sorts of lovely things. Oh, well, all I'll do is relax. All I'll do is let go. All I'll do is do nothing. But doing nothing is doing doing wow. nothing. Mm -hmm. It's quite difficult, though, so I've tried it. Okay. <laughs> so there's nothing to do because everything is already complete, obviously. Mm -hmm. Even the idea that everything isn't already complete is complete. Mm -hmm. So, when you're saying that everything is just an appearance arising out of nothingness, um, everything I see is just an appearance of the nothingness? Everything you see is nothing. Everything I see is right. nothing? Or whatever I is, or, you know, what, my brain perceives, so reading the news and looking at what's going on in the world, it's all just illusion? I mean, what... Well, what your, your, your interpretation of what's going on, what your experience of, of the wall is uh, an experience of the wall being separate to you. Uh -huh. There's nothing right or wrong with that, but it's disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> so, something says... That's not quite it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's not quite it. So there's something that appears or experiences that it's sitting in a separate place to the wall. If that suddenly, that whole feeling of that apparently collapses, although it doesn't, anyway, let's say. I'm, I'm does, sorry, I Suddenly, yeah. there is no, there's no space between this and the wall because the wall and this is one. And what about. Uh, you know, there's the organism, the brain, there's, I mean, if I stub my toe, uh, there's pain or sensation of pain. Well, pain is the wall. Pain is pain. The wall is the wall. Carpet's the carpet. Yeah. It's all illusion? No, it's, no, no. no. The, the individual sees it as real, but actually it is simply nothing paining. Aha. And it's the same nothing as the wall. Appearing the wall as is, uh, suddenly there is just wall. There isn't somebody who's aware of the war. There isn't somebody that's aware of pain. There just is pain. The beloved is all there is. The beloved is all there is? Oneness, wholeness. Oneness, including that which is looking. Which is, of course, nothing. Which is nothing. It isn't a thing. It's, all there is is nothing. Not an awful lot, to think about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> all there is is nothing. Okay. So maybe this is more about forgetting than remembering anything. No, it's not more about anything. No. Forgetting is just another process. It's but like awareness is a function. There are people that teach that awareness is sort of all and everything. But awareness is actually a moving function. For awareness to function, it needs something to be aware of. So forgetting needs something to forget. It's another movement. But the me. It's constantly looking for something, a movement that will give it the answer. Oh, it's so sweet. What I mean is that when uh, I talk to you, everything I think is me uh, could just be forgotten in some way. Well, then you're, then you're in a process. There isn't a process. Nothing's no. happening, so what, who needs a process? And you're, you're somehow giving an awful lot of um, importance to what is being said. It's not very important at all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> really? No, really. It's only a superficial part of what's going on here. It's an excuse for something else to happen. Then I'll have a coffee. Sorry? Then I'll go have a coffee. I didn't get that. I'll, I'll go have a coffee. Oh, a coffee, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, when there is nobody or nothing and why is there a why that why do things seem to appear well they don't just because they, they do appear, they only seem to appear I they mean, seem to appear they aren't real There's yeah the, you're implying in some way or other say why do things appear and the implication i get is that that, that what appears is real it isn't okay it's nothing that you know, that that pillar is nothing pillowing it has no meaning or purpose or whyness of any kind. But it's only me that asks yeah. why, because he wants to work it out so that he can know it. 
And and where comes this sense of being? I mean, why does it, is there a sense of being me when there is no me? I mean, where, because, where, well, it's in, just in what it is. The, so. the final reality, the actual reality, is that there's nothing. And what me hates is the idea that everything is utterly pointless and has no meaning or purpose of any kind. It hates that because because it keeps its existence going on the idea that it is real. Yeah, I don't know, perhaps it's, but I have the, the idea that some, somehow the sense of being me must have started or why did it start? Why? No, it didn't why start. Did, no, uh, hold on. It didn't start. No, okay. it didn't start. There's okay. no, nothing started. Okay. Nothing's happening. There's no beginning, middle or end, except in the dream of me. Okay. There's no beginning and middle or end, because all there is, is nothing. Hmm. And again, going quite to quantum mechanics, that's now been, that's now uh, illuminating or exposing the utter ridiculous idea, or the ridiculousness of the idea that there was a Big Bang. All of that's collapsing, much to the alarm scientists. Of course, I came here. Sorry? Yeah. Of course, I came here to have another explanation, sure. Yeah, of course. So, my question is is there an apparent reality that is a common, common experience? Or is this. No, the common experience in the individual is that everything is real. And, and, and individuals confirm to other individuals, you know, I'm real, are you real? Yes, I'm real. And look at that tree, yes, it is. Uh, it's a con constant confirmation of an illusion. Very powerful, but it isn't powerful at all because it's completely meaningless. Is it also completely meaningless when thousands of uh, policemen are fighting against some hundred uh, no, young people saving some trees? Absolutely. But they are obviously living in a certain common reality to, to be in well, that wood. Well, you call it a common reality. The common reality is that everything is real including Christianity, um, Buddhism, and all of those sort of wonderful things that are happening in the world that are going to save the world. They're utterly pointless and meaningless. <laughs> but the me wants to invest in them and make them something real so that the world can be saved. And there's no consequence of anything. No, there's no anything. consequence because nothing is happening. This completely explodes the whole idea that the individual has about the society, morals, ethics, and all this. It's a, it's a fantasy. It's just a fantasy. You say <coughs> um, it's a fantasy. It's Where are I'm you? here. Okay, <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> uh, you said it's a fantasy or uh, an, an illusion. Could you compare that with uh, what we n normally experience when we are dreaming? Of your when we are dreaming. Dreaming, it's also, yeah, yeah. It's also an illusion. When the me is dreaming, uh, apart from deep sleep, when the me is dreaming, it's, in, an, uh, it's in, a, in a dream. When it wakes up, it thinks it stopped dreaming, but it's, yeah. it's just another sort of part of the dream. So you could uh, compare this, what we see as r real, more like a dream state. More like? A dream state. Yeah. Yeah. 
you dream that it is you dream you are real. You're in the I am dream, yeah. which a lot of teachers say is very, very precious and important to maintain and strengthen. It's yeah. strengthening an illusion. Yeah, but uh, what me bears in in this is uh, the problem. Also, that it is an illusion or fantasy. A lot of us suffer. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently. But there isn't anyone suffering. There isn't anyone. Okay. There's but, only apparent suffering. But in a dream, yeah, you also can have your nightmares. Yeah. And that's horrible. Yeah. Please. So, I think the most of us sitting over here is searching for a way out of this yeah. nightmare. Mm. Wake up, yeah. But <laughs> no, answer. no way out. There's no answer. All there is is what is, including nightmaring. Yeah. <laughs> Another question. You say everything is utter meaningless. But when everything is meaningless, why do you see such a harmony in everything? Such a harmony. Harmony. Yeah, there's a complex system. Uh, the universe is very complex, but or an illusion of complex, complex complexity. But the harmony is also meaningless. It's also sorry. Meaningless. Yeah. What the me does is apply our music and our great music. Yeah. We've created that, of course, I haven't. Yeah. So look at the beauty of what we've created. It must have some sort of meaning. Yeah. It's a constant, constant hope yeah. that it's going to get better. Yeah. The problem is when, when things are so complex and, and in harmony, uh, or seems to be in harmony, then, then you think there must be a goal behind it. Yeah? Uh, well, when the me thinks it's creating harmony, there is a goal. Yeah. Into maintaining harmony. Um, there's no, there's, there's no need to do that, and it's utterly useless anyway because there's nobody maintaining harmony. It's what's happening. Don't forget that the me uh, actually believes that it is real, and what it does is real. None of it is real at all. It's a complete appearance out of energy. Music is energy in that form. Art is energy in that form. There isn't anyone doing it. But without this me, you would have also this universe. Without this me, you will also had, have uh, this complexity, uh, this harmony, uh, the life. There is complexity, apparent complexity and harmony in, in the appearance, but it's meaning. W without a me, also. Without. W also without oh, a yeah, me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, me isn't complete, is completely unnecessary. Yeah. But what appears to be happening is pointless still. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm trying um, to ask a question. <laughs> no, I'm going to ask one. Um, I actually... Since I've heard about you, I'm so I'm always I've always been wondering how you experience daily life. No, 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 no I'm not. There isn't any. <coughs> there isn't anyone here. So there's nothing experiencing anything. But all there is is just unconditional, unconditional love. Yeah, this but, is unconditional but love. But still, you're going to. Someone is going to end this uh, questioning, or you're going home, or somewhere. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have a home. Okay. <laughs> All there is is this. Hmm? All there is is what is, including sitting here and there's something speaking through this body. Do you like your state of being? Do I like your state of being? I don't like or dislike anything. All there is is what's happening. It's in loveness. When there's no one there anymore, it's simply in loveness. But there's nobody in love. In loveness. That means you like everything. I, well, you're still, what you're doing is projecting on 
to this, the idea that there's someone here. That's normal. And misaligned. Incidentally. You think you're listening to another person who, who uh, appears to have something that, that is known, but it's then delivering. This is absolutely not. That would be a teaching. There's nothing here that knows anything. There's, this response is coming out of unknowing. What is it that recognizes that there's nothing? Nothing. Is it, is it another? You don't need a me for there to be recognition. It's just a recognition. Don't need a me for anything except frustration and hopelessness <laughs> and hopelessness. So now two in that. This is new. <laughs> so there is no experience anymore. No, there's no experience. There's no experience, uh, no experience. Yeah. Of course, once the initial recognition that there is just nothing takes place, then there isn't living in recognition. There's just nothing. It's a shift from what thought or experience everything as something into nothing. Oh. So, uh, something speaking through you? Uh, well, no, it's just nothing speaking. Yeah. That can't be true, It's right? through this body at the moment, but it's also through that body, saying also there's something speaking so you say, so speaking through you, there's something also asking through that. That's a puppet. It's just a puppet, and then suddenly something comes up to ask a question, and that asks a question, and this responds. But can it be said that it is not quite true that something is asking a question through this body, and you are answering it through this body? There's nothing that's true, there's only an appearance. There's an appearance of something asking a question through that body and something responding here. It's not true, though. There is no truth. There's only what appears to be happening. So to explain what happens would be not true. Absolutely. Well, you could say it would be, it would be um, misleading. Okay. <laughs> Because then the implication would be to not explain what's happening and would therefore be true. But there is no truth. There is only what is and is not. Um, being focused oh, or get... going to be focused? Focused on the... on nothing or... Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm Or on the contrary, getting lost in the reality. On the contrary, not getting getting lost in getting lost. in the lost in this apparent reality. Oh right. As a me that is really appearing a hard life. Hmm. So, is there anything I can do about it? Is no, there no. anything, or is it just no, experiencing what is happening? Totally. For the me, that, that, that what arises in all that is a sense of separation. There's nothing wrong with it, but it, the, the me doesn't like it. The me, me feels uncomfortable in separation. Hence seeking, hence religion. All the great religions are. And the little ones. <laughs> or an explanation, or an, uh, a way, or an answer to end that which is simply an illusion. Yeah, but this ending, and to end up, to end up this is, there is such a deep longing inside to, to end this, this seeking and this uh, is, feeling not, in separation. There isn't anything to end. 
And with this deep longing inside, uh, I, yeah, I can't do anything no. with it. And it, it's just there. It's just what's happening. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> So in the end, we have to accept what there is? No, you won't ever. No, me can't accept this. This is not about acceptance. It has nothing to do with acceptance. Okay, but listening to what she said means, okay, uh, in the end she will continue what she's she can't. The me can't help do anything other than run around a circle. Yes, but she's sort of continuing in her circle. Except that it's not her doing it, it is energy in that form. There's no me choosing or doing, oh, running around a circle. It's simply energy, contracted energy, running around in a circle. <laughs> so if we slow down the process by meditating, calming... Oh, sweetheart! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Is it, do we even have to talk about it? No, no. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Sorry. The only thing I ever say is, well, if it doesn't work, try harder. <laughs> so what do we do when a... Uh, no, 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 you don't do anything. Doing apparently happens. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm still wondering about the nightmares. Um, <laughs> of course, the me finds it completely unacceptable that this energy would appear as nightmares uh, or that there's all this agreement about creating nightmares in the uh, world. Mm. Um, I, uh, I, I'm, I don't even know how to pose the question without being told that there is no me, it's all an illusion and all that, it, you know, I, I, I can't, I can't. That's what happens in the end, there aren't any questions left. <laughs> it's but there are nightmares. It is utterly and completely hopeless. But there are nightmares. Mm. Well, there, there is, there's nightmares and there's dog shit and there's roses and there's, you know, there's life happening, apparently. But to try and find the answer to that is ridiculous. Yeah, so when you're saying that all there is is in loveness <coughs> includes the nightmares. Yeah, of course, when there is no one, there's no one having nightmares. Nightmares are what is. That's the difference. That's the, that's the dramatic difference between a me who is real, my, I am real, and my nightmares are real, and they are mine, and <laughs> just nightmares. And saying so there is no nightmare. <laughs> well, there isn't anything in the end. There's only nothing, but tell me that. <laughs> okay, so reading the newspaper is reading the newspaper. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. Okay. So, if some people want to kill other people... No, no, other people. Oh. If some people want to kill himself, for example, you know, well, a suicide. Yeah. It, doesn't, suicide. it doesn't mean nothing else that only they don't want to continue with their illusion of I, so they finish with the body, or what, what is it? But there is no choice. There's no one that commits... Nobody has ever committed suicide. <laughs> <laughs> one more. <laughs> one more, please. Sorry. Can you repeat it? 
<laughs> Nobody's ever done anything, raided a bank or committed suicide. It's what apparently happened. It's not their decision, it just happened. Absolutely. And, and, and nothing can stop it. No, nothing can stop it, and nothing can make it happen either. Yeah. It doesn't happen, Just it happens. only appears to happen. Yeah, totally meaningless. There's not a stop or start. Yeah. But, you know, all of this, you know, as far as the me is concerned, this is utter nonsense. It does, doesn't comprehend it. You know, so many people say to me, the trouble with this message is it doesn't make sense. And I say, hallelujah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But I, I go on on this sub subject, subject. But it, it is appropriate. It is a appropriate. It can be appropriate for that totally. well, it, appearance. In a way, everything is appropriate and, yeah. and because nothing's happening. So whatever happens just comes out of this energy. It's yeah. just energy, energy in energy. these different forms. But yeah. it's appropriate, but it's not getting anywhere. It has no agenda at all. Yeah. Yeah. The, the body is a certain weight, and therefore when it gets up or walks, that's the weight it's carrying, and the muscles it has to carry those or not, is what's appropriate. Mm. There isn't anything, in a way, there isn't anything that happens that isn't utterly appropriate, because it is like a, like a fantasy happening, and all the different um, energetic aspects of that fantasy are appropriate for that particular happening. Mm. Yeah. But, without, but with the wonderful freedom that none of it means anything. Yeah. That's amazing. That, that freedom is frightening as far as the me is concerned because the me lives in rule books and values. It has values. But, but is, isn't oneness a meaning? I, 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 only I understand to, only it. in the mind, oneness. Yeah. I mean, but, but, but when, when oh. there's an energy here and something happens, it's only oneness. Yeah, I know, but what is, you, you can't, but the trouble with the idea of oneness is it can't be described. It, oneness can't be known. Ask somebody what oneness is. Ask yourself what. What is oneness? It can't be known. No. But, 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 but me, me can in, interpret in, oh, uh, yeah. something, oh, oh, oh yeah. this happened, so, oh, yeah, oh, yeah now, and now also I'm one. And me again. not only interprets it, but it thinks it's got its own version of oneness, and that version is better than anybody else's. <laughs> and if somebody else comes up with another version, I'm going to shoot them. Yeah. Have you noticed that's yeah. happening quite a lot? Before coming here, before coming here, um, my friends asked me what what are I going to do, and I, I said I'm going to do a talk about the unspeakable. <laughs> and <laughs> well, it's, it's true, and it's not uh, totally. absolutely it's true. Mm. But um, and I will see these friends after the talk, and we go have a dinner, and they will ask me what have been talking about the unspeakable. What should I tell tell them? <laughs> no. <laughs> The, the question is, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better just stop talking? There is no better. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is it. Yeah, this is what it's long for. This is what it's constantly long for. This is what people go to war about and build churches about. And this is why people come here to find out that actually what they long for, what they deeply long for more than anything, is this. It's not something else over there or if I meditate or if I... It's this. It's this. You're actually sitting in this. Every movement you make, every feeling you have, everything you hear is this. It is what is. It is 
the beloved. The beloved is shouting and screaming at you all the time. For fuck's sake, I'm here already. <laughs> oh, it's not only in Wales and the retreats. Sorry? It's not only in Wales and the retreats. No, not only in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Something is <missed> there. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Wherever you go, after the, wherever you go, whatever you do, what you long for is constantly this. What is? It's stunning. It's just stunning. And it's so, in a way, sort of sad that people rush all over the place and put themselves through all sorts of things just to discover what's there already. They rush around to. <laughs> and I think it's tea time now. <laughs> <laughs>